Hi, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emmy, and look at this, another video. So who's inconsistent now? Me. Anyways, um, today's video, I want to try out a new product that I got. Um, I want to do this thing on my channel where, and I'm saying this out loud to, so maybe there's some accountability, but knowing myself, probably not. But um, I want to try this thing where I try out products and see if they work for my skin type, which is dry, like very dry, like very flaky and um, just dry. Um, because, you know, there's a lot of, especially foundations, there's a lot of foundations that are always coming out claiming that, um, you know, they're, they're like soft matte or luminous matte even though that doesn't make any sense or like the foundation that i'm trying today uh which you probably already know by the title but what does it says i don't know it, it's it, they always claim to be a, a gentler like a softer version of matte and for someone who has dry skin matte foundations i normally tend to run away from them but the benefit of having a matte foundation is that it they last longer because luminous foundations, even though they do give you a very beautiful, luminous, dewy look in your skin, and it makes it look a little bit more natural and healthy, and definitely for drier skins, it doesn't um, it doesn't like cling on to the dry patches of your skin. It doesn't tend to last as long. I feel like those kind of foundations don't necessarily sink into your skin very well they tend to at least for me they tend to kind of stay pretty surface so if i touch my face or whatever they kind of come off and i feel like matte foundations their formula is uh made to kind of grab onto your skin and just stay there the problem is that i haven't found the soft matte foundation a natural matte foundation that hasn't completely just like dried out my skin even more um the only matte foundation that i currently have on my little foundation tray back here is the um fancy beauty one and the fancy beauty one i can't wear that without mixing it with something else i tend to mix it with the luminous uh silk foundation from Giorgio armani or sometimes i mix it with the maybelline fit me foundation and then it works beautifully but that foundation is expensive and I shouldn't have to mix it with other things in order for it to work properly for my skin. So I want to see if maybe I can find a foundation that is matte with these new matte formulas that are coming out that will actually work for us dry skin girls. And yeah. So anyways, the first foundation that I'm going to be trying out is going to be this new one from ColourPop, which is the No Filter Foundation. Um, I got this a couple of days ago, and I've been seeing a couple of reviews from different people. This is the bottle right here. It's very pretty, very ColourPop. Um, I've been seeing a lot of reviews from other beauty influencers online, and I've seen a couple of different people wear it that have like different skin types i've seen people with oily skin wear it combination skin dry skin and there's been a myriad of opinions and i'm like great you guys are not telling me what i need to do <laughs> like i'm like okay some people with dry skin are like i love it and then other people with dry skin are like i hate it but then other people with oily skin are like this doesn't work for me maybe it'll work for dry skin and it's just like okay i'm gonna try this for myself uh, the foundation is not expensive, if I'm not mistaken, it's like $12, which for ColourPop is kind of like, you know, that's kind of their range, their price range for a lot of their products. I'm a huge fan of their brand. I love, love, love their eyeshadows. Um, their palettes are just so cute and so, they have such a good quality and very um, good pricing. Um, their concealer, I mean, I haven't really worn it. Um, actually, uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I have um, two of their concealers here, the no filter concealers. Um, and I bought one, I have a beige 25 and light 20. I bought one that is a little bit more pinky, peachish, peachish, peachy, peachy. Um, just so it could be like a corrector. Um, and then I bought one that is just like a lighter, uh, a lighter color than my skin tone. Um, I don't know why I did that because honestly, I've never been able to uh, layer concealer because my under eyes are, what? You guessed it, dry. And also, I do have like lines under my eyes. As you can see, you know, I am a normal 32 year old woman who has fucking lines under her eyes, okay? Will I ever inject anything in there to make them better? I don't know. I don't judge anybody who has. But this is just a reality for a lot of people. You just have lines under your eyes. That's just the reality of what happens. And a lot of these concealers, uh, doesn't matter how good they are, and doesn't matter how much product you put in there, it's just they're just going to crease. The problem that I had with this concealer was that not only did it do that, but also it kind of accentuated a lot of the um, patches that I had under my eyes. But I no longer have those dry patches. I've been working really hard <laughs> on moisturizing and putting a lot of uh, different kind of uh, hydrating and moisturizing products under my eyes to see if that those little patches that I had like right in the corner would go away and they have so I want to try these out again there's a lot of uh, dry skin uh, beauty influencers that I've seen on online especially Raw Beauty Christy which is one of my faves um, and she has dry skin and she swears by the no filter concealers and I'm like but then again she doesn't have the kind of like pronounced lines that I have under my eyes um, although she does say that she does have texture and I would a concealer like that I'm like well how does that not accentuate your texture but I don't know we'll see anyways this has been a long ass intro um, so I'm gonna try that out and if you want to watch that keep on watching so um, this is what I'm gonna do I'm going to put this on I'm gonna see like I'm gonna have like a first impression kind of thing and see how it looks on my skin when I first put it on and everything like that and then what I'm going to do since this video I'm recording it on a Wednesday because it's my day off and I'm gonna upload it next Sunday so what I'm gonna do is tomorrow I'm gonna do I'm gonna wear it again and I'm gonna do like a wear test thing cuz I'm gonna go to work and right now in New York is really hot and kind of muggy um, so I'm going to put this foundation to the test and see how does it last from, uh, I'm going to say like eight o'clock, which is around the time when I start putting my makeup, like eight o'clock in the morning up until I come back home, which is normally around six. So I'm going to see how it wears throughout the day, uh, under like really bright fluorescent, horrible lighting that my job has and just like regular wear and tear so let's do that first and foremost I'm going to prime I'm going to put this foundation like I'm not gonna do anything different I'm going to put this foundation on the same way that I would put any other foundation using the same kind of product because I want to give it a fair shot and also um, every other foundation that I've worn uh, you know I always wear the same primers and everything like that so I'm gonna just do the same thing with this one and right now I mix my primers I'm using this hourglass one which is the um, primer serum number 28 I have a, a sample size of this because this damn thing is expensive but I, I talked about this in a previous video this primer is a dry girl's dream it is very thick um, but it just makes anything that I put on my skin just glide and look really beautiful especially around my nose area which is where I have the 
biggest issue because that's normally when where my skin gets the most flaky and then um so i put that on my nose and around this area and all around like you just saw and then for the rest of the face i use the becca first light priming filter which is this one and i started using this one because i saw kathleen lights talk about it and she has dry skin um and this one is really good too it's really moisturizing and it just gives your face a really nice luminosity i don't always do this i normally only use this hourglass one for foundations like this that are like very thick and that i think might cling to my nose or to whatever area of my skin is like really flaky um so I use it with like, if I'm gonna use the Hourglass uh, Vanishing Stick Foundation, if I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Foundation, um, those kind of foundations. But if I'm using like the Clinique Foundation or anything that is dewy or whatever, then I just use a, the Becca First Light Primer. Okay, so I'm going to use a Beauty Blender because I never use brushes when I uh, put on my foundation because I hate it. Well, actually, I'm not gonna say never, that's a lie. <laughs> I use brushes for, um, for foundations that are like <laughs> thinner. So like with the Clinique one, you know, I would use a, found I would use a, a foundation brush. Okay, so I'm going to pump this onto the Beauty Blender. I hope this is my shade. <laughs> I suck at shade matching, to be quite honest with you. Um, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is a little bit too dark for me, but hey. It is what it is. Okay. So this foundation is, uh, from what I'm seeing, it's very liquidy. It's a lot more um, liquidy than I expected. Not a bad thing. <laughs> So that's the foundation on. I mean, uh, I think I matched myself pretty well. It mm, matches kind of okay with my neck. Um, I'm looking at myself in the mirror and I am actually kind of shook <laughs> because, well, this could probably be the primer, but I mean, the way that my nose looks and like this area of my forehead, it's like really nice, which is something that I can normally, that I don't normally can say about uh, matte foundations. I mean, with the um, Fenty Beauty Foundation, even if I do put on the Hourglass Primer all over my face, because that foundation is matte, it's like, um, it's it's kind of like it's like a drying lotion. I don't know how to how to explain it, but anyways, um, even with that one, like around my face, it will look beautiful. But once I put it on my nose and around this area right here, it will cling on to every single dry patch of skin, like it life depends on it. And normally I would have to like spray my face and dab it and spray and dab and put some powder and do a lot of things in order to smooth it out. And eventually throughout the day, <clears throat> the foundation does sit better on my skin, kind of melts and it will look better throughout the day. And you know, no shade to that foundation because it is a beautiful product and 
it does stay on my skin and everything but at the beginning it is difficult for me to work with this foundation though i just put it on and i it's like first of all it doesn't look like i have anything on it's giving my face this kind of i don't know if you guys can really pick that up on that but it's giving my face this kind of luminosity that i would never see from a matte foundation so i'm kind of confused and intrigued and i'm kind of like i'm kind of like whoa like this is pretty awesome from a 12 dollar foundation the coverage um is pretty good i mean um i don't think it's like full full coverage but i think that it is buildable i mean i would never think of building up a matte foundation because um I've always been scared of putting too much product and that could it potentially make me look super cakey, but I feel like if I were to put some more foundation right now, uh, even though I don't feel like I need it, but if I would, I don't think it would look bad. I think it would just melt in with the rest of my face, so. <laughs> I'm looking at the uh, ColourPop website and just to like uh, verify some information, making sure that I'm actually giving you the right information. Um, it is $12. They have, uh, I mean, their, their foundation range is really beautiful. They do have a pretty good selection of colors and what I do like is that their website kind of makes it really easy for you to find something, not only uh, depending on your skin color, but also like uh, your undertone. So if you have, um, if you're neutral, warm, cool, and it also gives you the option of um, finding out what kind of undertone you have. So that's pretty cool. Um, so their description of the foundation is that it is a oil-free lightweight formula and they say that is a natural matte foundation um, it says that you can that it's supposed to be like a customizable kind of coverage so you can make it uh, very sheer or you can build it up if you want to um, it has soft blurring pigments to deliver true color uh, is 100% cruelty free and vegan so I'm not mad at it I mean I am definitely not mad at it I'm gonna try and get a little bit closer so you guys can really take a look at my skin so this is my skin Ooh, hello so obviously you see you know I have lines and shit but you see like this area right here so this is where I normally get the driest around my nose and normally here the foundation would be all picked up and you could see my skin because the foundation would just uh, attach itself to like all the dry parts of my skin and I'm not gonna say that it's all like a hundred percent perfect like obviously my nose doesn't look you know completely flawless but oh I completely removed the foundation <laughs> But like, it looks so much better than it would normally look with any other foundation. Okay, so I'm actually, I am actually pretty pumped about this foundation, I'm not gonna lie. Um, I am excited to wear it tomorrow to work and see how it, um, how it takes in the day. Uh, but also I'm going to see how it works with more products on top of it um the foundation hasn't completely like sink into my skin because as you guys saw you know i was touching my nose and it kind of lifted so yeah <laughs> but i'm gonna put on the rest of the of the uh, face products and and i'm going to see how it works out okay so now i applied the concealer i am like very surprised about what I'm looking at right now because before 
when I first applied this concealer, um, like I said, like it was, it was very kind of, I don't know, like the consistency just did not work for my skin. It, it was just, um, it wasn't very friendly. Let's just say that. But, um, but now it's just responding so beautifully to my skin and I don't know if it's because of the primer that I'm using or is it because of the foundation that it's just working so much better. I can't really remember what foundation I wore this concealer with the first time that I tried it. Um, I'm sure that I tried it with, uh, I tried it in a video so maybe I'll be able to look that up but I don't know it's just it just looks really nice now and it even looks nice enough that I feel like I don't have to set it which is very weird because I never not set my under eye concealer because again you know it creases a lot but with the way that this formula is looking it just doesn't seem like like I need to do that. So now I am just going to uh, finish up the regular step steps of my face, which is like bronzer and um, uh, blush and highlighter. For bronzer, I am going to use the uh, Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer, which has been my favorite lately. It just smells delicious. So I'm really into it. For blush, I am using this pretty vulgar uh, Make Them Blush blush in the color Hush Blush, which came in a BoxyCharm box a couple of months ago. I've been obsessing over it, it's really pretty. And for highlighter, I'm using good old Becca Opal, which is my fave. So I will be right back. Okay, so I'm done with my face. I have my blush, bronzer, and my eyebrows done. So the last thing that I'm going to do is going to be uh, set my face and I'm going to use some Max Fix Primer. I have the coconut version thing. And I always do this before I do my eyes um, because I feel like uh, it helps all the powders and everything to just melt and marry themselves and just look more natural in the skin. And I'm also very curious to see how does the foundation respond to having spray on it. Will it look better? Will it start bunching up and caking? I've seen that happen before. Um, so yeah, let's get to spraying. So that's the face with the ColourPop um, no filter foundation and also with the no filter concealer. Um, first impressions, I like it a lot. I mean, it looks really nice in the skin. Um, I feel like with the Fix Plus, it just uh, made everything just kind of sink into my skin so much nicer. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of blown away with how it looks around my nose. It's just, that's always just been my biggest problem area and it's been the most, the most frustrating part about buying foundations and especially spending so much money on like these high-end foundations that everybody always raves about and then I put it on and I'm like, but my nose looks exactly the same. Like, I touched the mic. <laughs> so, um, you know, that sucks uh, because I want to be able to just put things on without having to worry about whether it's gonna look good on me or not. Um, but this foundation, first of all, the price is right. $12, you know, it's great. Um, I do think that the primer obviously had something to do with it. If you have dry skin, I'm always going to recommend you trying a luminous kind of primer. You don't have to get the hourglass one. I mean, that one is ridiculously expensive and I bought the smaller version and that was still pricey it was like 20 something dollars um you can get the the um, Too Faced Hangover RX one the Becca one uh NYX um has really good primers as well or just a moisturizer that is uh 
you know, moisturizer that is hydrating, um, that is not too slick and that it will absorb into your skin. You can use that as a primer and just put the foundation on top. Uh, but I really, I just, I'm really, really, really liking how this foundation is looking on my skin. It just looks really pretty and really natural and I'm really happy about it. But we're going to see how this foundation lasts throughout the day. Will it last until the end of my work day? By the time I come home, we are going to see. Um, so that will be next. Um, I'm going to be doing my eyes next, but that's going to be in a separate video because I am going to be trying the brand new Jeffree Star Thirsty palette that I have right here behind me and I'm so excited. So that's going to be a video I'm going to shoot right now. Um, so keep an eye out for that. That's probably going to come out after this video. So yeah. Um, anyways, I will see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> That's confusing, but we'll get there. Good morning. Uh, um, <clears throat> this is the second time that I'm wearing this foundation. Um, it's currently raining, which sucks because I thought it was going to be like sunny and bright. Good enough for me to show you guys how it looks in the sun but it's actually quite uh quite muggy but um i'm using the foundation again and so far it's looking really nice but we're gonna see how it survives throughout the rest of the day okay so this is the end of the day i'm back from work tv is on very loud it has been so hot today here, very muggy, um, but the foundation seems to have held on pretty pretty good, like my forehead looks pretty nice, my nose looks nice, um, it does seem kind of dry around the mouth, but that's just kind of like normal for pretty much any foundation that I use. Under the eyes. Um, I mean, I've been rubbing my eyes a little bit, um, kind of like scratching it because I do that a lot and um, so that's kind of normal as well. But the foundation seems to be, to have held on pretty well, pretty good considering um, I don't feel like I look extra oily or anything. Um, like I could blot maybe a little bit there, but it's not like a big a deal. Um, yeah, so I give the ColourPop No Filter Foundation two thumbs up. So, yeah, that's it. If you guys have any opinions, let me know. Uh, and I will see you guys in the next video.